My name's Isabella Robusto. I'm from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Uh, I race in multiple different series. I drive in the GR Cup Series. I drive in the GT4 America Series, also at Toyota. Uh, I drive a late model stock and the Cars Tour. I drive a pro late model and some super late model uh, then this coming year, as well as driving ARCA for the first time. When I was five years old, I got into a go-kart for the first time and fell in love with just racing, everything about it, the speed, the competition, the adrenaline, and kind of just went from there. But growing up, I always loved racing, playing racing scooters around the driveway. I always make the joke that I beat my brother into life because I'm a twin and I'm an hour and a half older than him. So I always say I won from the start, but uh, we were just a huge racing family. My schedule is very chaotic. Uh, there's multiple weeks where I'm racing at two or three different racetracks and then we'll go jump out of one car and get in a completely different car in the same night. So it's definitely a challenge. I've gotten really good at time management, but now I'm in online college for Arizona State University. I'm currently majoring in aerospace engineering. So lots of math, but uh, I enjoy it. So I feel like since I also enjoy it, it's not really that much hard. It's not work to me. It's just something to do that's fun. I feel like the crossover between aerospace engineering and racing is kind of more on the engineering side and I get along with my engineers very well. My goal still to this day is every time I go to the racetrack I have to learn something new about the car, setup, data, something on that side but also how I can become a better race car driver with all forms of racing that I do and I feel like that's definitely helped with the setup of the cars. I'm able to communicate with them kind of more so in an engineering way but also in a driver way and I feel like we make better changes in that sense. Being a female in NASCAR and in racing in general, you definitely stand out more than others. And I always kind of use that as my advantage. I feel like boys don't want to be beat by a girl. So growing up, I always liked that the boys raced me harder because it just helped me learn faster. So I think being a female growing up definitely helped me, at least from my perspective. And then I always liked when I won, I could say I beat all the boys. So for me, I definitely loved just being able to stand out and kind of the challenges it brought, but also what I was able to take away from the challenges. My main thing is just to keep my mind calm. So it'll be having my meal plan that Toyota's nutritionist has helped me kind of create over the last year and a half. So it's kind of starting that two hours before the race and then mentally just listening to music, talking with engineers, making sure that I know all the information that I'll need for the race. And then for the sports car side of things, sitting with my teammate, going over kind of our plan together, if there's any last minute things that we want to change. Um, but kind of just getting in that racing mindset an hour or two before the race and just getting calm and settled in. I feel like what drives me every day is just learning something new. Really big on every day, making sure it counts. So even if that's working better on myself, learning something new, uh, working on bettering something from the day before, I feel like is the main thing. So going to the race shop, working, learning something new, helping someone out trial run certain aspects of the car and then what school obviously learning new math different ways to figure out how to solve a problem yeah it means a lot just to have my name next to all of the other amazing drivers that are a part of this program and just to kind of see that other people are seeing what some of the drivers are doing and the impact that they're making i feel like is very powerful my name is isabella robusto and i'm a hoosier hero